Hi, I'm Jim Odom, president of Presonus, and you're now watching Wink Sound. We're here in Baton Rouge, Louisiana for Presonus Fear 2012. We wanted to create a product that sounded amazing so any professional could make a great record, but we also wanted a guitar player to understand how simple it is to actually record. So we did a lot of things to the workflow to make it feel like it works like you work as a musician. You just need to drag this over and drop it on that, and all of a sudden, bam, now I just did something to the dynamic range and it just sounds good. To view a channel's automation envelope, press A on your keyboard or click the Show Automation button at the top of the track column. To choose which parameter to automate, you can use the drop-down menus located below the channel's name on the track column and within the track inspector above the channel fader. Here you can choose which parameter to automate as well as add new ones by choosing the Add Remove option. This will display the automation dialog box. Choose the parameter you would like to automate and click Add. You can also add automation envelopes to a channel by modifying a parameter and dragging the hand icon from the software parameter window located at the top left of the song page onto the channel. To the right of the automation drop down menu you can toggle automation modes such as read, touch, latch, and write. To adjust the automation envelope, in this case the pitch parameter for the Mojito synth, choose the arrow tool and click on the automation line to create a new point. As long as you have the snap button engaged, the automation point will keep to the grid. Disable snap to freely place the automation point anywhere on the timeline. Studio 1-2 Professional features a paint tool, which makes it easy to draw figures for unique automation envelope shapes. Use the 5 key to scroll through the shapes available. Within the Paint tool, you'll find the Transform tool, which allows you to further skew envelope figures. Choose the Transform tool, highlight the automation points you wish to skew, and adjust any of the eight anchor points to shape the automation envelope. To erase automation points, select the Arrow tool and press Delete on your keyboard. After a while of mixing, automation envelopes can start to add up. To keep the automation envelopes organized and visible at all times, let's create an automation track. Press T to create a new track and under Format choose Automation. Now hold Command to click and drag the automation envelopes from the channel onto the new automation track. Now the automation envelopes are always visible and accessible for quick editing alongside their respective audio or MIDI tracks on the timeline. MIDI parameters can also be automated. Double click on an instrument part and below the piano roll you'll find the instrument parameters. From here you can draw automation envelopes in the same way you did on your arrangement window. To add new automation parameters, click on the box at the upper left hand corner of the MIDI automation window. Choose the parameter you wish to automate and click Add within the automation dialog box. You can now program changes to that instrument parameter. The whole idea was get the really technical things that they don't have to dive into to understand easy and available and also carry it all the way through to mastering. So as you're editing things over here, it's updating your master the whole time. And you can put that out on SoundCloud or Nimbit for people to listen and, and check out. It was all about making the whole process and workflow of making a record sound great and easier to do. Wink Sound is your source for free music and audio technology videos. Join the conversation by following Wink Sound on Twitter and YouTube to keep up with everything you need to know about music and audio technology.